Welcome, modern day mystics, fellow truth seekers, James and Justin back again, and this time with a quick reaction to Y Dharma's video entitled The Mystics of Sufism, The Inward Path of Islam. So this is kind of like the Muslim mystic version, uh, which is interesting. We actually had an ordained Sufi on our show not long ago, so go check out the interview uh, with her, uh, Brit Brittany Hartley. That was an awesome interview. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, take a, a peek at this. Have you heard of a spiritual tradition known as Sufism? It's often referred to as the inward or the mystical path of Islam. Sufis emphasize the importance of detaching oneself from material possessions and desires in order to cultivate a deeper connection with the divine. Central to Sufism is the concept of Tawheed, which means oneness or unity with God. So I know this is a tiny video, but I just yeah. want to throw something in there about the, this reoccurring idea of detachment from things, right? Yeah. I feel like the final threshold towards like some kind of great awakening is often delusion. Because so many of them start off as the precursor to this path of abandoning your attachment to the world mm -hmm. and abandoning your attachment to all the things the world has to offer and desires and everything. Like that's step one. But then you've got to go into the path inward and that's like a path. Yeah. That's like a, that's like, there's a world in there that you're like, oh, there's like, yeah, I denied the outside physical world, but there's a whole bunch going on in here. And so that can turn into its own thing. Like you you can develop a spiritual ego, you know? Mm. And so you got to like cr crack through that. I wonder if it'll get talked about here. Sufis believe that everything in the universe is a manifestation of God, and they strive to experience this divine presence within themselves and in all aspects of existence. I learned about Sufism from the Persian poet Rumi. Reading his poems, I can really see the principles and values of Sufism through his words, and they are really powerful. Cool. Powerful stuff there. Seeing the divine in everything. Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, there's uh, that ability to be able to see that is very hard and you were talking a lot about delusion and it was making me think about where we're moving in the future and uh it got me thinking about technologies maybe one of the next like human steps are going to be like developing devices to help us break break out of all yeah. our attachments well that's that is what this is yeah. it's what we're doing <laughs> Right. And so it, it, it's true. It's like there's like religion and then within religion, there's like sects that are extra mystical. And then and then it's true. And then you find these rabbit holes and you're like, oh, my God, sometimes it's synchronistic. Yeah. You're like, I came across this video. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and so talk about something worth investigating as Sufism yeah. for that that mystical approach to something that oh, much of the world's already Islamic. Yeah. You know, and it's like they, they might be like, there's something more here. Like, I feel like Neo in the Matrix here. What's the, you know, and you find yeah. this Morpheus character. Yeah. It takes you deeper. Yeah. It, I, I was thinking of like maybe some type of like a chamber, like a technological chamber that could help you get the experience that comes from, you know, a life lived in pure asceticism of full detachment that like helps you like, I see, I see. Oh shit, that's what is happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you wake up, you know. Yeah, because that's like the big deterrent now is like the way to see like to, to like come to these understandings and epiphanies yeah. seems like you have to go through hell. To yeah. like get here, yeah. but you know maybe as we we advance, we'll be like, okay, there's a there's an easier way. It doesn't like doesn't have to be this brutal. We can get you to that understanding right. without having to do all that. And then of course in our travels, and you can we've interviewed some of these people. You can find people that claim to have found the way, and mm -hmm. that they're like, I am, I'm, I am, I'm, I am now. I'm, yeah, here, yeah. I'm here. And yeah, you're yeah. like, whoa, <laughs> what does this person have to say? And they are remarkable. And yeah, they, and they do have remarkable things. So yeah. check out some of our content. Yeah, and we got some other great guests coming up. So stay tuned. Uh, and if you did like our reaction to this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and everybody. Until next time, stay spiritual. spiritual.